At about 7.30 this morning, we received a call of a body floating in the water here um, about 100 feet from shore in the 3800 block of Beach Drive Southwest. The Seattle Fire Department, along with our crew, responded and we were able to pull a body, uh, a woman, um, 30 to 50 years old from the water. Our homicide unit responded out um, just in an abundance of caution. At this point, we are calling the deaf suspicious until we know more. There were divers out here. Did they actually have to get into the water to retrieve, or was it close enough? Well, I was told initially that it was 100 feet offshore and that it may have been in a position underneath um, an area that made it hard for um, units from our harbor unit to get to. So that makes sense that the divers were in the water. And do we have any indication who called this in? I, I don't know who called it in. I, I don't know who called it in. Um, are your investigators uh, going door to door? Are there reports of missing people? Well, you know, I don't know if there are any reports of any missing persons that fit this criteria at this time. The investigation is still in its infancy. And um, so, you know, we're just going to wait to see what the ME has to say and also our homicide detectives. And the ME has already picked up the body, right? That is correct, yes. How long did it appear that this person had been in the water? Well, according to our homicide detectives, not long, not very long at all hours then perhaps possibly Just overnight yeah. yeah um any signs of obvious trauma to to the victim to the woman well, again, the investigation is still in its infancy, and um, homicide responded. We are calling it a suspicious death, and, um, you know, we really don't have a whole lot more than that to add at this time. Do you have an estimate of when you're going to release the scene, given all the people who uh, walk and live over here? You know, I don't. It could take, it, it just depends. I don't know if CSI will be responding out, but I would say if you, um, or driving in this area, if you live in this area, give it just be patient and give it maybe an hour or two. How much of the area right now is restricted, Renee? Is it the shoreline that they're looking at? Well, is anywhere it... you see the police tape, you know that that area is restricted. And we also have police officers, there's an officer there um, stationed. So if you get to an area and you're not quite sure, you're not quite sure. just looks like it's kind of restricted in terms of pedestrian access right, right now. But the shoreline itself looks like it's, it's still open.